The great eclipse is less than two weeks away. And photographers, they're going to be uh, trying to get the perfect shot as the moon moves between the sun and the earth. Weather Watch 12 meteorologist Gino Recchia reports their preparations include safety precautions. In his 50 years of snapping pictures. Yes, that's my, that's my hobby. Photographer Joe Sanders has shot just one solar eclipse. I shot a partial eclipse when I was living in Saudi Arabia. He'll point his camera to the sky again for the great eclipse on April 8th. Just uh, because you don't have to see him very often and and it really is interesting to uh, to, to see the, the, the blackout part of the disk in the sun. But Sanders needs the right gear to get the perfect shot. A lot of people are planning to travel and to go down to actually see totality. A lot of people are also going to be staying in the Wisconsin area too to photograph what we'll be getting here. Arts Cameras Plus in Greenfield is selling essentials to protect photographers and their equipment during the eclipse. So it intensifies the actual sun's rays and it can overheat your camera. In the same way that people need safety glasses before looking at the eclipse, Cameras need special UV solar filters for good pictures and protection. That was the most important thing is if I got it, can I get it dark enough that it's not going to destroy my camera sensor? And this will do that. Years down the road, you can explain what a, an eclipse looks like, but to see it on an actual photograph is a different thing. With the right gear, settings, and patience, you'll be able to capture a priceless lifetime memory. Reporting in Greenfield, meteorologist Gina Recchia, WISN 12 News.